what we had under President Trump, a guy who did what he said he would do? I mean, you think about what he accomplished in his first term as president. I mean, it's amazing. He said he would cut taxes. He did. He said he would reduce regulations. He did. He said he put conservatives on the court. He did. Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, Coney Barrett. He said he would build a wall. He did. He said he put the embassy in Jerusalem. He did. And a whole bunch of other things. And what's amazing. What's amazing is he did it with everyone in that town against him. Every Democrat was against him. Everyone in the mainstream press was against him. Half the Republicans were against him. All the bureaucrats were against him. But in spite of all that, he got it done. And I love the line he uses. I'm, I'm, he probably uses it today when he gets here. But I love the line he uses. He says, they're coming after me because I'm fighting for you. Ripper Jim Jordan's comments underscore the remarkable effectiveness and unwavering determination of Donald Trump in fulfilling his campaign pledges despite pushback from various quarters. Jordan's focus on Trump's accomplishments is seen as a validation of conservative principles such as limited government, reduced taxes, and judicial integrity. Trump's successes serve as a testament to his unwavering dedication to conservative ideals. His against-all-odds stance resonates deeply with his supporters, reflecting their frustration towards the perceived political establishment and mainstream institutions. This narrative not only bolsters Trump's support base, but also solidifies their confidence in his leadership. Jordan's remarks can be interpreted as a deliberate attempt to bolster his backing for Trump by spotlighting Trump's triumphs and positioning him as a champion of conservative values against formidable adversaries.